Down. Down. You want to else die? Lord of life and death, accept this child into thy realm. Aww. A child which, according to your mysterious plan, you have taken from us to protect her in your bosom. May your heavenly domain prevent him from knowing hunger, cold, or pain. May he spend eternal life in the ultimate truth. We bid you farewell, Slavko Zedenik, husband, father, and friend. I thought it was talking about a child. And then they said husband. I mean, still, it's another. It's a. It's a. What? <laughs> Out of water. Oh, fantastic. Oh, here you go. My precious mink. Oh, you are truly sent from above. Lola is complete once more. You deserve a reward. Do you wish Lola to reward you with a song? No. Up. Uh, oh. Sure. Why not? I sleep and I dream of your love. You were sent from above. Like a soft turtle. Hypnotized? Are you not enthralled by Lola's voice? Uh, oh, oh, I. Yes. I am. That was otherworldly. Such a compliment. You were such a dear boy. And a terrible liar. But Lola appreciates your kind. Why does she talk in third person? You deserve a more proper reward than a song anyway. Oh, good. Take this with Lola's deepest gratitude. <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> that was an interesting quest. Um. Ooh. I didn't know you can get like modifiers. Or like uh parkour and stuff that i want those those are mine okay what is this B bar uh so i got a quest item Okay. No one has been anything different. Up. No, I have not. This isn't kosher, Damien. You need to respect the rules. I'm respectful. What were you even thinking? I've never seen someone botch a job so badly in my life. I feel like a trap. You couldn't have screwed it up more than you did. Alright, back to... 
anything closer to me, which would be that one. Also, I have a side quest. Let's go to the side quest. Not mean to strike that man. Really didn't it. about when the guns were confiscated in Villador and what happened afterwards. He wants to light a candle on the site of the March Massacre. The March Massacre? Yes. 64 people died that day. Gunned down like sitting ducks. If you want to know more, you should go and see for yourself. Why can't he? No one can leave the building while school is in session. Children shouldn't walk around the bazaar on their own. Hmm. I thought you'd be more worried about them falling into a dark zone. Oh, kids nowadays are too smart to fall into a silly hole. Anyway, could you light a candle for him, young man? You might learn something yourself. Sure, though I was pretty lousy at history. <laughs> History is boring when someone tells you about it. It starts being fascinating when you can touch it. Is that wrong there? Yes. Take this candle and go to the monument of the World Art Congress. Or what's left of it. It's close by. Contact me when you get there. You'll see what my lesson was about today. All right, history lesson. Whatever you say, dude, whatever you say. Monument. You were right. Not much left of it. Good. Look closely. There is much more to it than meets the eye. What happened here? That is where the riots started. People were terrified. How could they protect themselves and their families? There was massive unrest. So curfew was put in place and homes were raided to ensure no one was hiding any weapons punishment for those who didn't comply was quite severe i 
Yeah, there's a plaque here. Oof, a lot of names on it. Are those the victims of a massacre? Yes, 64 names. Things were starting to get pretty bad outside the walls around then. And the army needed more weapons. So they confiscated the civilians' weapons. Private ownership of any sort of firearm and its ammunition was forbidden thereafter. Wow. Shots were fired. The army started shooting at people. Panic broke out. And of course, things only got worse. The riots escalated. It was the beginning of the end. Light the candle. Container detected. So you're saying that Pratt made a bad call, taking people's guns away? Hard to know for sure, but it didn't end well for anyone. In fact, the main irony <laughs> is that the army soon ran out of ammunition. And just like that, firearms became obsolete. At least, that's what's generally believed to have happened. Now you'll hear some folks claim that Pratt kept a secret stash of ammunition somewhere in the city. But if so, he took that secret to the grave. So I guess we'll never really know. And that's the thing about history. We rarely ever really know. It's not a hard science. History is fragile as the passing of time. It takes the vigilance of people like myself to make sure it's not rewritten to suit the whim of each new generation's self-righteous fight. The duty of remembrance. Everyone should practice it. Farewell now, Pilgrim. I hope this little trip down memory lane has illuminated your path. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Are we fighting? No? Okay. What, what are we doing? Looks all clear to me. Yep. Do I really just catch myself on fire?
Justin. Ow! Alright, go after the guys that have the freaking horn thing. Oh, this is heal. Refill. Okay. Man, I'm so thirsty. You literally have a water th collector here, and you're thirsty. Okay. Back off, kid. Rude. Is that a uh I don't think that's a safe landing. Okay. If we can craft anything. Throwing knives.
Alright. Shed? That's the one. I have to repair it or it'll rot. You know, we used to call this time of day the golden hour. Gotta be something good. Hard to open. I think it's that. Alright, well, that. I think that will do it. Stream. Thank you guys for stopping by. If you like what you make sure you hit the follow button up above. Down below are my socials. Go follow me there. If you missed any of my past live streams, I have them in my YouTube channel. So go over there, subscribe, comment, like, dislike. Do the things. Again, thank you guys for stopping by. I'll see you tomorrow, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for more Dying Light 2.